I'll take a tasty dog on a bun. <laughs> I can't serve you. What? I can't serve you. Why not? ID. Oh, for... <laughs> Do I look underage? Could be. All right. You want my ID? I got my damn ID here somewhere. Here, hold on. Just, 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 just a second here, boy. Out of hell with it. Whew. Norm Owenson, medieval mercenary for hire. For real? Yeah, yeah, that's me. But that's not my freaking ID. And yes, it's what I do, sword fighting mostly. Here. Here's my ID. I still can't serve you. People eat in here, and you've got blood and stuff on you. Kid, I spent the past three days fighting fat, middle-aged men under the hot sun. I've had nothing to eat but turkey drumsticks and nothing to drink but homemade meat. Please. Sell me my cold, modern, tasteless beer that I want more than life itself and one processed hot dog. Please. I'm not serving you. Why not? You're carrying a knife. No, I am wearing a sword. Well, you can't wear a sword in here. All right, I will take it off. Now, may I please have my cheap-ass beer and chemical-infused hot dog? You're still wearing all that nasty armor. Look, it takes me half a freaking hour to take it off, but okay, if you want me to strip from my beer, I will strip from my goddamn beer! No, 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 you're not stripping in my store! Okay, sir, you need to go, or I will call the cops. Kid, I just want a cheap beer and hot dog! Speed dial. And you're on camera. Just so you know. This is some sort of discrimination. A man's got a right to his beer and hot dog. Go. I have a friend who's a lawyer in the UCLA. We will sue. Don't you mean ACLU? Yeah, them. Hello? Is this 911? I'm going, I'm going. I'll find some place that will take my money. Goodbye. Goodbye. What did you just do? Uh, nothing. You, you, nutcase. I'm calling the cops. Well, I didn't do nothing. Hello? Hello? 911? Come on! Medieval piece of crap.
If you think you've been seeing knights, squires, lords, and ladies walking around downtown, that doesn't mean you've been drinking too much mead. It's the start of the culture for inspiring iconic lessons annual fighting season. Some of the country's more colorful characters provide a time machine back to the days of King Arthur, Robin Hood, and trial by combat. Ah, oh, Christ. Local businesses have been adjusting to serving customers in medieval armor, and police say they've received several concerned phone calls. They'll want to assure everyone that our visitors are colorful, but harmless. Harmless? Does this look harmless to you, asshole? Up next, he's not just a hamster. He's a hamster that plays roller derby, and his friends say he's as tough in the ring as he is in the wheel. Harmless. Oh, shit! Car! Betty, I love it when they yield. I yield. I yield. Okay, playtime's over. Any street urchins, emo children, or gamers who are neither my daughter nor violating my daughter are now required to vacate the premises. House Camille has been happy to host you. Now out. Maddie, kitchen. Pay up. Told you my girl was good for it. Whatever. Really, Mom? A megaphone? I needed to get your attention, sweetheart. You got it. What? Maddie, as your grandmama said to me, we come from a long line of warriors, witches, and thieves. It's time to start carrying on the tradition. What tradition? Ever since graduating high school, all you've done is fight with your friends, play video games, and have teenage girl sex all over my house. It's time to grow up. Pack your bags, dear. I'm throwing you out. Mom, you can't just throw me out on the street. Oh, honey, yes I can. I know the law, and you know your mother. But good news, I called your dad, and you can go stay with him until you decide to grow up all on your own. Dad. Dad doesn't live anywhere. He just shacks up with whatever woman will have him when some shire isn't putting him up for a... Yes, dear? Oh my god, for a fight. Dad's gonna train me? Mother, I love you! Uh, no, 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 that, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, your dad hasn't promised he'll do anything. Here's the number to his hotel. The rest is up to you, Maddikins. But he said he'd never let me fight, remember? Oh, honey, it's not about what he'll let. It's about what you can get. He's a man and you're his daughter. That's worth a lot. And there's two things I've known about you since you were teething, and you're a lesbian and you're a fighter. This is your chance. The years I spent with your father prepared me for the rest of my life, and one way or another, he'll do the same for you. Now, I need to go meet with a client. There's an envelope up on your bed with $300 in it. Be gone by the time I get back, okay? And call me in a few weeks and let me know how your dad's doing. He never takes care of himself during fighting season. Goodbye, Camille. Do you think she ignores me from contempt or disdain? Accepting indifference? If she had contempt for you, you'd know it. Uh. Uh. I could just continue to watch you squirm, working up the nerve to ask, because that's hot. But as long as your dad doesn't walk around naked in front of me again, I'm with you. Why 
about it, I have to be the one to call him again. Why? What did he say? Nothing all that bad. Just you were on the phone all day. What's one more call? I'm trying to think like mom. Wow. Really? Did you get hit in the head? When did we want to start thinking like our mom? Certainly not like yours. And not like the crazy insane parts like mine, just the crazy smart parts. Like how? Well, you know how dad and I love things. I'm still mad and I bet he is too. We are going to fight. And if we fight over the phone, I won't win. Yeah, that sounds like your mom. What? I'm just saying, between him and your mom, you're going to age well. Your mind is a weird place. Good luck, babe. Win or lose, I'm with you. Hey, little B. I brought you a bag of your favorite donuts. I'm gluten-free, Dad, remember? It's your other daughter in Oregon who likes donuts. I like donuts. Well, then, you can have all of them. Every last one. Dad, daughter over here. Daughter's completely off limits girlfriend over there. Oh, relax, honey, relax. All we say, if you can't appreciate a good looking woman, it is time to die. <laughs> Dad, I wanted to say, I'm sorry for what I said before. Oh. It's all right, honey. Kids say things, parents forgive. Water under the table. Bridge. Yeah, that. Thank you, darling. Dad, off limits girlfriend, remember? I'm sorry, honey. So, I guess you and your mama had a fight? She just kicked me out without any warning. Said I should go live with you for a while. <laughs> live with me? Well. I suppose you can crash in my hotel room. I got this gig for another week or so, and you kids can share the roof I got while I got it. But we can't let the manager know now. It's an extra $20 a night per person in the room. That's great, Norm. We knew we could count on you. No problem. Any girlfriend of my daughter's is a girlfriend Dad! I don't want to stay with you for just the week. I want to stay with you the whole season. I still want to fight. <sighs> this again. I want you to go to college. Who do you think is going to win? I don't need to go to college, Dad. I need to fight. I want to learn from the best, and you're the best. Teach me. So you can grow up and be like your old man? Hell no. World's got enough old assholes like me. You need to get educated and be a different kind of asshole. A rich asshole? Mm -mm. This is a no-helping zone. Yeah, or at least an educated one. Get yourself some schooling, darling. Make a life for yourself, not this slog I go through. Dad, you go through this slog because you don't think you're worth anything better. You treat yourself like shit. You do this to you. I could go to college and end up every bit as worthless as you are. I want to fight. Man, do I wish I was still your age and knew everything. I am not training you. And if your mama can walk away from you, so can I. I have one question for you, Dad. When's your next gig? Some will come up. It always does. Yeah, some shithole little offer that puts you up in a tent in the backyard and pays you in skanky wenches. Dad, I can do you better. Yeah, yeah. Dad, on the way over here, I called five houses and got three offers to fight for them and one to pay you not to fight. Paid not to fight? Yeah. House Lancaster just wants you not to fight for anyone else when they challenge. Look, Dad, let's just forget about the training. Let me be your agent. Paid not to f Did you think of that or did your mother? We can't take the offers not to fight yet, but they will get bigger. And until then, I have jobs for you. Jobs that pay with good hotel rooms, cold hard cash, and rental cars that don't look like that. <laughs> it is a piece of shit, isn't it? <laughs> but dad, no more pussy for pay. No more pussy for pay. No, we're going professional here, Dad. So where do I get my pussy? We can help. It's Diana. What? We can be his wingmen. You two are so gross. And my girlfriend is so not helping you score. 
You sound more like your mama every day. All right. Season just started. We'll try out your idea for the next month. <laughs> I will not train you. You will not fight. Any extra money we make goes into getting you into college. Agreed? No training. No fighting. Nope. You are my agent, not my squire. Deal or no deal? Deal, I guess. We got him! We so got him! <gasps>